Don in London, hello. October the 20th, my video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, substance, alcohol, could have been anything. My behaviour equally addictive around people, places and things. Two extremes, work, relationships, you name it, trying to be perfect, very, very trying. Not quite right, and often in oblivion because I couldn't fix me or the world, or fix the world so it fixed me. So these days, a little bit more san sanity on a daily basis, contingent on my spiritual condition, which is to understand the truth of what I'm facing, the truth of now, often called the spiritual connection to living. So if we know the truth, we are, we are in our spiritual moment. Not so easy with a head full of old thinking and denial about trying to fix things. In fact, we can't fix a darn thing, except maybe we can look at the world with better a better, open, honest and willing approach. So these days, what helps me? The Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't speak for AA, simply it's full of unique, authentic people who speak for themselves where they will, and I speak for myself. And here I share from the Daily Reflections book this one, because it covers the 12 steps of action in the 12 step action program to change our attitudes and behavior. And the 12 steps, October is represented in step 10, all about personal inventory, looking at what is working and what is not working. And for October 20th it says this, solace for confusion. Obviously the dilemma of the wanderer from faith <coughs> is that profound confusion. He thinks himself lost to the comfort of any conviction at all. He cannot attain even a small degree the assurance of the believer, the agnostic or the atheist. He is the be bewildered one and you know for 35 years I was out there fixing the world, bewildered, because it didn't seem to be fixed. I couldn't fix it. Excuse me, I'm just uh, getting sensibly comfortable. So bewildered I was for a long, long time, and these days less so. Well, at least I hope so. You never know, do you? So that comes from the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions. And it goes on to say, the concept of God, and for, it's a personal thing, God, for me, God is truth, love and wisdom of others, the universe. I'm just a very small speck. But we're all connected. So nature, providence, you name it. Something called good conscience will do fine as a way of understanding a higher power in our lives. So if we're having a reflection or meditation to a higher power, good conscience or God, as you understand, is a personal, authentic understanding which counts. So don't be fired by the word God. I'm not. God is truth, God is love, God works through people. Hugely practical, gets me in touch with truth, the spiritual connection. The concept of God was one that I struggled with during my early years of sobriety. The images that came to me, conjured from my past, were heavy with fear, rejection and condemnation. Then I heard my friend Ed's image of a higher power. As a boy, he had followed a litter of puppies, provided that he assumed responsive, he had allowed, he was a he, uh, he had been allowed a litter of puppies, provided that he assumed responsibility for their care. Each morning he would find the unavoidable byproducts of the puppies on the, front, on the kitchen floor. Despite frustration, Ed said he couldn't get angry because that's the nature of puppies. Ed felt that God viewed our defects and shortcomings with a similar understanding and warmth. I've often, heard, I've often found solace for my pers personal confusion in Ed's calming concept of God. So, for me, you know, we're full of it, in one way or another. We're full of uh, what can be called defects, our fear, our brave facing, our ego, which all gets in the way of learning. And not enough humility, which is simply the ability to keep on learning, be open, honest and willing to change our attitudes and behaviour to the conditions in which we live. So to go to good conscience, if we are reflecting on what is working for us on a daily basis and what may not be working for us on a daily basis, what works normally is selflessness, open, honest and willing to learn, to be a part of, to love, be loved and useful. What doesn't work is selfishness, ego, pride, all get in the way. So these days, uh, when things are going right or wrong and I'm doing a daily inventory of what is going on, the serenity prayer is a good starting point to God or good conscience, as you understand, on a personal level. Nothing else works. 
To God all good conscience, the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. For me is just for today.